Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm about to show you how you can slow mo your videos in two ways, and after that, I will share with you a tip how you can deal with low FPS videos so that they are not feeling laggy and they are much smoother than it should be. To get started, I put a video on my timeline. I'm right clicking on the clip and going on retime control and now as you can see it's showing me the whole clip that is running in 100% speed which is the normal one so I'm gonna left click on that percentage and I'm gonna select add speed point with this I created a frame which is separating the parts of the video and I can adjust later the speed of that so right now I just created the two speed points which is separating the video on three parts allowing me to separate the video in three different speeds in order to change the speed of some of them you can left click on the percentage and go on the change speed and select the speed that you want to run with and this is one way to do it after I show you how it looks like I will show you a second method to do it which is even better than this one it's more advanced but it's easier as this one So now I'm gonna show you how you can improve your slow motion and we're gonna start by closing the, the retime control because we don't need that anymore. You wanna right click on the video and go on retrieve curve and then down on your timeline you will see something like a diagram and you need to go on the left side of the diagram which says retime frame. Do a left click on the retard frame, go on the bottom of the menu, deselect the retard frame and select the retard speed and in the background you will see something like this which is showing you which part is speed up and which one is slower and you can see that there is a hard cut which means drastically it's going from 110% to 75% and if you want to make that even smoother without a drastic change of the speed you need to mark the keyframe you can go on the top side and select this curve tool and again we're gonna do it for the second one you can select the keyframe go on the top side and select the left symbol and what this is gonna make is gonna make the cut even smoother, it's not gonna be drastic, it's gonna be going from 110 to 75 speed, slowly without any hard cuts. Now I'm gonna run it down so you can see what it looks like. And now I'm gonna share with you a tip important about doing a slow motion, the higher the FPS of the video the better. But now I'm about to show you how you can deal with uh, low FPS videos, like this one that I'm using right now. You just need to go to the inspector, go to retime and scaling tab. And the first one, Retime Process, you need to select Optimal Flow. And that way DaVinci Resolve is gonna create some frames in between them and they're not gonna feel like as they should be. And that's how you can do slow-mo on your video. Let me know what you wanna see next down in the comments below. Like if it was useful and subscribe if you don't wanna miss any future videos. See you in the next video.